there's these examples from from history that are uh, paving stones to the future. Yeah. My dad, when he discovered the community in India with Babanti mm. in, in 1964, he he had never seen community like it. <laughs> And, and it was like, the, there were these pioneering examples of this like ancient future design of living in community mm -hmm. and where everything was sourced locally, where there was not a drop of water wasted. The way we've designed every aspect of our world. They're thriving now. They're thriving. They're thriving. Yeah. This is a, what is possible as a, a way of existence for all. And just recognizing how you how special humanity is. Because this is just the microcosm of the macrocosm. The, the beauty of it is, I, I believe it's known as, is the presence. The presence of everyone. They are just right here in the now. And so that, that flow, yeah, like the water, mm -hmm, just kind of moves us right along. What do you think your dad would say about the communities we see today? I'd say, I'm so proud. <laughs> we did it. We did it. There's an abundance of resources on this planet for all. And we recognize that together, that we can stand together and support one another and be in harmony with ourselves, the human race, and all species on it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs>